Yeah, nothing. I was just shaking my desk. So we had an earthquake. We felt an earthquake uh, from Northern Virginia up here in the Northeast. And it was quite an experience for those of us that felt it. I know everybody on the West Coast is probably like, get over it, are you kidding me? That was nothing. But when you don't expect it in terms of where you live, it's, it's quite literally <laughs> rattling. So we were just finishing up a live show about understudies. And I was running the board and Patrick was producing and answering phones in the next room and Colin was across from me and all of a sudden I felt like I saw the screens start getting wobbly so subtly and I felt like my blood sugar had been had dropped and queasy and almost a sense of vertigo. But that didn't make sense because I just had lunch and I was feeling freaking fine and all of a sudden I, I'm seeing things and I'm feeling this way and so I remember standing up just to kind of get a hold of myself and to see if everything was weirder when I stood up or better or what. And then I hear Colin say into the microphone, is the whole building shaking? You know what? Let me have him do it. I, I clipped this together. I think it goes back to when I had um, auditioned originally for the show the with Howard Champion and um, choreographer, director that, that you worked with that, that you know, liked your work. You know, and, um, uh, Mary, I hate to do this to you, but we're going to have to break early here today. We have kind of an unusual situation here at the building. We want to thank everybody who helped out with today's show. Cue, everything's coming up roses. It's my job to come up with the music that we come into and out of breaks with and that we end the show with, and it's usually put together. Hi, Mo. It's usually put together uh, thematically, so today we chose show tunes, and I thought it would be cool to end the show with <laughs> everything's coming up roses. So as we, uh, <laughs> as we ran for our lives out of the building, everything's coming up roses was what was on the air. So I thought that was, that was something. And um, what, what I found really interesting was afterwards, a lot of our coworkers were out of the building. Momo just smacked my book off my table. Attaboy. You tell that book what's up. So a lot of our coworker, coworkers were out of the building and they didn't feel it. And when they got back, a lot of them were like, ah, oh, I wanted to feel it. And I, if I didn't feel it, I would feel the same way. Like, what an experience. You know how, if you live in this part of the country, how often would you ever know what that feels like? And I, I think I would only, and I think they would only feel that way because nothing bad happened, you know? Like, if there were fatalities or serious in injuries or things still going on because of it, I'm sure all of us would be like, well, glad I didn't feel that but it's funny how when we say oh I wish I could have felt that that fear and that sensation and just to see what would happen I think it's only really when when things don't go wrong um and at the same time to feel that sort of fear I um, mean think when you imagine what would I do in a situation like that you know who would I think of would my life flash before my eyes and for some people you know it did especially closer to the quake epicenter but for us it, you know we ran to our desks to get our bags and our key cards at least to get back in the building and it was funny I I have my Canon S95 which is just a really nice point and shoot um and I remember thinking no I'll leave my 5D Mark II's <laughs> the two big guns that I use to make up a, a decent part of my income <laughs> I was like no I'll leave them I thought that was interesting so uh but it's funny because I I felt very few emotions as I was collecting my things and getting out of the building at um, I was surprised at how, I don't know if it was the reptilian parts of my brain or what, that sort of kick in when when you have to just make quick decisions and get out of there, and it's a weird experience, and you don't know what's happening, and it's neat how your brain sort of takes over. I like it. I, I'm glad it's like that. <laughs> I'm sure it's like that for a reason, too. Uh, so anyway, it was really neat, and um, it just reminds me that life is this series of scary things that happen out of your control, and just the periods between those times, you know? So <laughs> I appreciate the ground not shaking. Uh, and if it does, I'll give you another report. So Momo clearly has things to do, uh, like lie in my arms and be handsome. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say goodbye. I'll say bye, Momo. Screen's over there. Oh. <laughs>
All right. Enough kitty porn. Sorry, I had to do it. Bye.